So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up and restore files, folders, Active Directory, and the server as well. It, it is kind of all types of disaster recovery options. So so that you can remember that how to backup. Number one is that we must have backup feature installed. So before doing anything, all we need to do is go to add and roll, add and uh, uh, add roles and features, and next and next. And here, all you need to do is that we can go find here Windows Server Backup. So right here at the end, it says Windows Server Backup. Now Windows Server Backup, it's a feature, it's not a role, so you won't find it in a role. Now once this is done, I would just select this. Now before even doing this, before even doing this, sometimes what happens in real environment, we forget to do this. I haven't installed it, but guys, even without installing, even without installing, you would still find that, so let me go back to tools here. In administrative tools, I, I still have Windows Server Backup here. So at the end, I do have, without even installing the feature, you still have it. But the problem here is, you would have this, but it does not have any backup functionality. So here, if I go here, it is just saying Windows Server Backup is not installed on this computer. This is why we are installing the feature. So I'm showing you this sometimes in environment, you will forget the oh, feature needs to be installed, but you would say, oh, this is not working. It is not working because feature is not installed. So now here, let, let me complete the wizard. So I'll just go complete this wizard and install. It would take a few moments and it would, it, would it would install the feature. Now, the next very important thing that I need to do, first of all, let's try a folder backup. Now guys, in any types of backup, in any types of backup, we must understand you must have a secondary disk. So first of all, on this server, I'm going to add, so this is installation is complete. As soon as installation is complete, I would go back and close this and again go to tools and reopen Windows Server Backup. But uh, now this time, as soon as this opened, as soon as you go there, now it reads the data, now it reads all of the options. So feature is there. Guys, the second important thing is, where do you want to backup? Now, in this case, I'm not starting any backup yet, but I want to see how many disks do I have. So in this case, I have only one disk. Guys, one disk doesn't work for, for the backup. You must have an external disk or tape drive, but tape drive won't work in this environment, and tape drive doesn't work with Windows Server Backup. You can, you can use a shared disk as well. You can use a shared disk. But in our class lab, just to simulate the backup, what we'll do, we'll go right click on that VM and then go to settings and add an external disk. So here I'm going to go, I already have one disk and I'm going to go and add a second disk in this. So as soon as you go add second disk, you can add second disk and go with, with default. And in this case, just go with 60 GB. So whatever disk, you just go with default 60 GB. If it is 40 GB, I would still say go for 60 GB. Now, as soon as you go to 60 GB, you add it. Guys, you must remember, everyone should remember what is the process of adding a disk. When you add a disk, it has two steps to do. One, to add the disk. And second, you need to make it online. Now, here, you won't see the disk just by adding the disk. You need to make it online, and in order to make it online, we need to go to File and Storage Services, and here we need to go to the disk, and within the disk, we can see it will load in few moments, and as soon as it is loaded, it is now showing me that this disk is offline. The new disk that I have added is offline. So all I need to do is bring online, and then once after bringing it online, and how did I go there? All I need to do is, you need to go to Server Manager, you need to go to file and file and storage services, go to disk, and here you would go make it online. As soon as it is online, it is bringing that disk online, you need to format this. Because guys, we all know, raw disk cannot be used without formatting. So, so make a volume. So now we're making a new volume out of this, and that is, that, that is actually a normal process that we go through creating a disk. And you don't have to select anything, just next, next, next and it will create a new disk. Right after this, it will create a second disk in our machine. So guys, we must remember that adding a disk has two, two, uh, two, uh, two parts. Number one, add the disk. Secondly, 
make it online and, and format this. Now, once I did this, and if I go here, I can see e-volume. So now this is the second disk that I see here. Now, my backup feature is on, and I have a second disk. So the very first type of backup and restore I'm going to show you is a simple folder or file backup. Now, doing the simple folder and file backup, all we need to do on C drive, just go create a simple folder. So here, I'm going to go create a folder called report. The video. So here guys, I created this folder and in this folder, I'm going to create a file. So let's create a file. I'm actually creating another folder. Uh, uh, so this folder is uh, finance. Finance. And then I'm going to create a file here. Let's create a file. So this is a test file. So it's a test file. And in the test file, I'm going to write something. This is a test file. So now I have a file, now I have a folder, so this folder has few things inside. So now, before deleting it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back this up. So I'm going to back it up. So in order to back it up, you need to go to backup application. And in this, you can say backup once, or you can schedule a backup as well. So I'll go backup once, and within backup once, it will start the backup wizard. It's very simple. And in this case, it is asking me what type of backup do you need? Different options or schedule backup. We'll just go with different options because that's the only option available. And here, full server backup. Guys, at this point, we're not doing full server backup. All we're doing is just custom backup. Now, once you do a custom backup, in custom backup, it would ask you to add items. So what I need to backup is I need to backup, go to C drive, and just select report. So I'm just selecting this backup. Yes, in, in custom, you can select backup system. Guys, and at this point, always remember, if you do not have an external disk, this won't let you go further. Because you cannot backup C drive content on C drive. It has to be a separate disk. For that reason, we added the second disk. So in this case, I'm going to back it up on E drive and next and backup. It would take a few moments because that backup is not huge. So it is backing up that folder. Okay, I'm going to show you that extension. So here, yes, you should be able to see C drive, E E drive, yes, E drive. So it is backing up. Now, now, guys, here it says backup is complete. Guys, in backup, always remember one thing: if you are responsible for backup, you are responsible for the backup integrity as well, which means that if the backup is running every night, do not leave it as is. Always make sure and see that if it is always completed successfully. If it would have been failed, it would give you failed here. If the backup is failing every day, then when the time comes to restore, you won't find any backup. So as a backup administrator, you need to make sure that it is completed. So this one is completed. Now let me show you where this backup is. So first of all, here it shows me this is the date. This is the backup. It was successful. It gives me some more details here as well. Now let's go to E drive and see how it looks like. So if you go here, this is the folder that it automatically created for backup. And in this, the backup backup is this file. So this is what it backed up. Now these backups are unlike previous old backups. They don't have those BK extensions. Now this one, this records its own backup. But in order to restore guys, always remember that this is absolutely required now in order to test this backup all i need to do is go to computer go to c drive and then permanently delete so permanent delete is shift delete as soon as this folder is completely deleted all i need to do oh oops we can say oops that the folder is deleted now if the folder is deleted all we need to do go back here select the backup that you did previously and then recover so once we go recover it, here it says, okay, you want to recover it here or another, uh, uh, so this server, so where the backup is? Where is the backup? Is it in this server or another location? So it is in the same server, and you go next, and here, which date do you want to go back? So if it is done every night, you would see different dates here as well. So actually, this is today, today's date, so 29, 
it is automatically selected now what do you want to do you want a file or folder backup or it's the complete c drive backup we already know that it's just a file and folder and next so here it will load everything from the backup and you go into c drive and you can select the report now here since we didn't back up everything it's only showing us what was backed up so in this case you would go next and here now it is asking original location or another location so here i would say original location for the original location is missing that folder so we'll say original location but but you can also do other location as well for example you don't want to override the original location but you want to just see in the what is in the previous backup so you can restore in a different location and just see what is inside so original location as soon as you move further recover it would take few moments and it will be it is completed and done and now here it says file recovery was successful so this was also if it failed it would give you that message so if i go back here and i can see that folder again i can see everything inside so this is a very very simple type of backup that is known as file and so here so this is first type of backup now the second type of backup let's do a system state backup now in a system state backup or in a full backup in both cases you need to go back and do a full backup so now here let's go schedule back but before that before that guys if i need to do this reports folder backup every night what i can easily do i can schedule a backup so it can be done every night automatically it doesn't shouldn't wait for me to back up it should be done automatic so we can schedule any in the backup it, same thing same place e drive it will be backing up in the e drive first time you have to create that drive and then it will do automatically now here now let's back up so in this case we are also backing up once and next now this time we can go with full backup now in full backup it says uh, uh you want to back up the backup size will be 24 gb the backup size will be 24 gb so here let's go with this if i go here it is saying that okay you are trying to back up so choose the type of storage for backup which storage would you need to back up so d cannot be used cuz d is the dvd drive um uh, but e can be used we have a external drive or we can select a remote share as well but in this case we're going to back up in e drive so as soon as you go there and here we select e drive and in the beginning guys it shows you that the total amount of this space it needed was so here the total space on destination is this and free is this it was 24 gb now why is it saying 24 gb because if you go to computer and see that this is around 36 36 gb free and about this is about 24 25 gb data now if you go into backup here and just select it is saying the selected destination include a list of items backup do you want to exclude this volume from a uh, backup yes we do need to exclude e drive so we are only including c drive for this backup so here <coughs> so this is your destination and now guys this is here where you can select either full backup or system state backup so in this case if i go with this that complete backup or everything backup now bare metal backup <coughs> bare metal backup means that it will do a complete backup but system state means it will do only most important system files and that includes active directory as well <laughs> exactly so in this case we are going to do bare metal backup bare metal means full complete server backup including operating system including this so that we can crash that complete machine and then restore it so now which one full backup yeah full backup and bare metal backup is same but in some cases you might not want to do full backup you just want to do a c drive backup so then you can just select c drive and here you're saying bare metal backup bare metal backup is everything within this computer so here we can backup so now it is backing up this will take some time depending on cuz it is taking backup of 24 gb here so what i'm going to do so it is taking backup since we selected bare metal backup it will backup system reserve c drive system state bare metal and everything so here i'm going to so so backup was done 
Backup is done. And how do you know backup is done? Once you go into the tool and you would see this backup, all the, uh, this is the first reports folder backup. This was the restore we did. And this is a full backup. Now, this full backup, if we go into the details, it says that this has completely backup 22 GBs. And it was done at this point and total 23.4 GBs backed up. Now, guys, let's simulate a server crash. Now, so what I'll do, what I'll do and what I want all of you to do before simulating a server crash, always take a good snapshot. So I'm going to take a snapshot because sometimes this backup won't work. And if this backup didn't work, then you have to recreate the machine. So here, I ju I'm just going to create a snapshot call before backup, uh, before, before crash. So Windows before crash. So now this will be useful to try different backup techniques if you if you do have a snapshot. So I'm, I'm going to let it complete. Now in order to crash this server, all I'll do is I'll go into Windows folder. I'll go into Windows folder here. And then within Windows folder, delete as much as possible. So here, I'm going to go into Windows. I'm going to select everything. And here it's 82%. So let's let's wait for a few seconds here, 85%. So, so my snapshot is complete. Now I'm going to simulate a crash. In order to simulate a crash, I'm going to select everything and delete, permanent delete. And it won't be able to delete everything because some files are in use. So it is deleting, deleting, deleting. Let's see how much it can delete. So it is deleting. At the same time, I'm going to go into program files and delete as well. So program file is the place where it installs all the software. So here it says try again. So we're going to for some files it won't be able to delete because they are used by the system. So here, let's let's skip them. No, delete them. You have a snapshot, right? You can revert back to a snapshot. So they are deleted. And now, guys, at this point, if you restart this machine, so here I'm going to go now and let's power on and restart. Let's see what happens. I need to do one thing. Yes. I didn't do MS config. Okay, so here, and your Windows is crashed. Trying to start. Start. Crash. So let's see what is the error message. It's not going forward. And let's see. So in other words, it's not booting up, but it should give an error message. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reset it again. Restart, actually. So restart. Now, guys, the most important thing in restoring is that you need to go to that menu where it says safe, in, uh, safe, safe, safe mode start. And Active Directory Restore mode. So here, here, okay, hold on. Let me try my snapshot. Let's see. If, oh, uh, okay. So I'm going to revert back and I'm going to show you that option. So, okay. Wow. That snapshot helps. Okay, so guys, here. Yeah. In order to start, so it's just go to snapshot and select that snapshot. Now, again, before now simulating a crash, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a command called msconfig. Now, msconfig is used, guys. msconfig is used to start the machine in safe mode. In server 2012, it was in server 2008. We used to press F8. But here now we should we we should do restart safe mode in this case. So here once you do this, 
here we'll say start with safe mode and i want to start with acid arrest repair mode or you can also go with safe mode with minimum uh with minimal start now let's see if i select the safe mode and i press okay but before restarting cuz i haven't crashed anything so let, let me do a let me do a good crash here so in order to do a good crash uh, just a second just a second here let me try to do a better crash and delete all files in this so i deleted the program files let me go into this and delete i mean we can do as much as we can we, we don't know which files are uh, uh okay so if next morning guys this is a good question if for example you cannot go into safe mode then what is the process guys then the process is that you mount the server 2012 cd and then when it starts installing there is an option called repair the computer then we can repair it from the cd as well so i'm going to show you that as that as well so for example you forgot to go into safe mode but you do have a good backup how do you restore your machine so here let me simulate this this crash here so it deleting and what did it delete it so it deleted some files now let's restart it Guys, it's not starting up. It seems it's not giving error, but I think if we wait enough for enough time, it will give us error message. Otherwise, it can directly go on to start. But hold on, it is logging in. Okay, so guys, no, 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 no. Hold on, it is crashed. but it logged into a safe mode remember we said <laughs> safe mode but in your case it is is it logged in completely yes it won't start because it has lost many important files so guys in this case in this case so this is one thing we can go into the safe mode and then i can start that program uh, the the tool so here i mean even safe mode won't work cuz we have deleted many important files it's saying server manager has stopped Guys, in this case, now the only option. So, so guys, this is a perfect example of server completely crashed, and you do have a good backup. Now, how to restore this, guys? So we are restoring from the same server. So what 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 I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings, and within settings, I'm going to mount. I am going to mount the server 2012 CD. So server 2012 CD, just like we create a new system, new server. and i'm going to restart this from the cd so let's see that so now that cd will start the new server installation but we are not going to start a new server installation what we are going going to do we're going to select a repair that installation so let's see or oh, the safe mode okay no no it's starting the windows so it is it is now starting installing a new windows i think machine so here it's saying that see the advanced repair option or restart this pc so what i need to do see the advanced repair option 
and within advanced repair option here it says continue exit and windows server or troubleshoot so here i'm going to say troubleshoot and in troubleshoot i'm going to say system recovery system image recovery so here let's go to system image recovery and we'll use the administrator account and the password now in this case it is scanning for the image here it is it, it scans the image and it sees the image on d drive but i'm not going to use a d drive select advanced as soon as you start as soon as you start the machine it should it should start up sorry what so that password is remember when you installed active directory and you gave a password for active directory restore mode that password is required so guys here i'm going to select this add the drivers so go on to so now it is restoring it hopefully now not all the restores would work properly you have to hit and trial because in case of crash it is there is no one perfect way of doing it so it is it is trying to restore it from the place where we backed up it it was it, it is a rough crash and crash can be of many times and restores can be of many times but in this case we know that we have a backup what if you don't have a backup in that case you just need to create a new one and get a replicate from another so it is now restoring it so guys it is successfully restored everything now it is restarting so once it has successfully restored everything it is restarting now now one thing to remember when you are restoring it because we had e drive it will show you d drive because it is started and it found d drive not used so it automatically changes e to d so so but this is the right way to recover a server now i would take few moments to restart let's see when it comes back okay guys so backup is completely so backup just few seconds guys let me complete the video so here and we completely recovered the server from from backup and just to make sure we are going to log in we are going to log in and we logged in everything is working fine server manager is okay within the server manager we should have all of the roles active directory and everything should be so i have active directory let me open active directory just to make sure that if everything is in place so i'm going to open active directory users and computer and active directory users and computer everything is fine so this is guys how we do disaster recovery and we should do this on both servers guys at home your homework is to do it on